Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating an LCD display just like this. So I actually took a reference photo of a scale that I have here and just to see how it looks and, you know, how to recreate it. So if you zoom in here, you can kind of see the background of the letters. We're going to need to create that too. And so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to File New and create a new document. I'm going to go ahead and name this LCD Display with a width at 800 and a height of 300. With a white background, click OK. And here we have our LCD Display. So now what we need to do is create the LCD background by creating a rectangle. So come down here to the Rectangle tool, select that, and just draw out a rectangle. Doesn't have to be perfect, right around there. And I like everything to be centered. So if you have snapping on, you might be able to center it. Or you can just control click the background there. With the move tool selected, center it horizontally and vertically. And there we have its center. So I'm actually going to name this background as LCD background. Double click on it to open up its layer styles. And we're going to add a gradient overlay. So click on the gradient overlay. Let's change some of the colors. We want to go with kind of an off olive greenish color. So right around there you can copy the hex code if you need to. Click OK. And then the last color is going to be another green color. A little bit darker right around there. Click OK. And here we have it goes from light to darker. Click OK. And let's add a stroke. Let's change the position of the stroke to inside and bring the size up to around 6. That's all we have to do. Click OK. And there we have our LCD background. Pretty simple. So now what we need to do is create the LCD text. And to do that, you need to download the font from defont.com called Digital 7. You can also use any other digital font that you have, uh, but I found this one to work well. Actually, while working with this font, I did find a little problem with the numbers, uh, especially number 8 right here. Uh, you see how the line is right there and then the line's there. And that's like all the letters, the line's there and the line's there, especially the zero. Well, I found this other font at thefont.com as well, DS Digital, and the lines are nice and uh, symmetric as you can see here. So this font might work a little better for you. DS Digital, links in the description. So let's go to the text tool, choose the font Digital 7. We're going to go with this size for now just to see if it's big enough. And we're going to change the color to white. I'm going to kind of click off of the rectangle just so I don't start typing inside the rectangle. And we're going to type in 888.8. .8. So this can be a weight scale. And we're just going to kind of center it within the background. So there's our numbers. And that font is big enough. It was the size 225.94. And what we want to do with this is just bring down the opacity quite a bit to anywhere around 10 to 15 percent. I'm going to go ahead and go 10 percent opacity. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking and dragging it down to the new layer icon. Or you can hit Control or Command J to duplicate that as well. And the original layer right here, the background, I want to lock that just so I don't accidentally click it with a text tool and change the text in it. I want it to remain at 8.8.8. .8 .8. And now the copy, we can change this. I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100 and change the font color to black. Now we can go in here and change this to whatever we want to say, let's say 180.5. And just like that, you're done. You created the digital LCD display. The fun part of these displays are when you push them, they turn all kinds of colors. But you can't really do it when it's digitally unless you have an LCD monitor. Oh, that works. So if you have an LCD monitor, you can still push on it. I don't recommend that, but uh, it will change the colors too. <laughs> One quick thing I wanted to mention was how to add some grain to this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and control click on the thumbnail here for the LCD background. So we have that selected and we're going to create a new layer and we're going to fill this layer with white. So we can go to edit, fill, white. Click OK. Let's control D to deselect. Go to filter noise, add noise, and we're going to add some noise around 95% uniform, monochromatic is checked, click OK, and let's bring the blending mode to overlay, bring
bring the opacity way down, probably around 12 or 10 percent. And you can't really tell much, but the grain does add a lot more realisticness. So there you have it, a digital LCD display. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other things you can do. Here we have a, let's see what it is, glass scale I made. And if you want to learn how to make this glass scale, visit the website robertsproductions.net where you'll find a written tutorial on how to make this glass scale with the digital display. Here's another example of what you can do with this tutorial. Create a clock. So there you go, it's 8.30 a.m. And it's pretty fun experimenting with this. There are a lot of things that have the LCD digital displays. Maybe you can take a picture of a calculator and change the words in the display. You know how when you type in 8008, what does that spell? You can add some words to that calculator and, and post it somewhere online, trick people. That would be pretty cool. I might even try that. And a lot of different things use this, you know, gas pumps, uh, calculators, treadmills, stoves, microwaves, you name it. They all pretty much use this. So hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below or you can at reply me at Twitter at Rob's Productions. All the links are in the description below for this tutorial. I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.